Hello Tubers, this is Kurt with Edibles and Exotics coming to you from sunny Mesa, Arizona, and today we're going to do a little how-to video. And what we're going to be working with is longevity spinach. So I was over at uh, Allen's uh, Queen Creek Tropical Nursery, I'll put a link down in the description, and uh, he was asking about longevity spinach. He watched uh, one of my videos, saw it, and said, hey, you got any uh, for, for sale? And uh, I said, yeah, sure, uh, I'll start up a bin for you. So my longevity spinach, it is uh, growing into the pathway and uh, it's gonna have to be trimmed out anyway. So I was gonna do some cuttings uh, regardless and uh, sell them, but you know, if you need some, I'm gonna help him out. So if you look down here, this here is all the longevity spinach. It's actually starting to flower out and my walkway is right here. So I'm gonna nib all these off here and we're gonna get them into a bin they propagate super easy. I'm gonna get some uh, cuttings off of this and then we'll go over to the bin. I'll show you exactly how to do it. Uh, they usually root out about a week or so and you can turn one longevity spinach plant into hundreds. And this one here, uh, it's been growing for about a year now. It started out as a six inch cutting, uh, made it through the summer. They don't like uh, the heat and the sun so much in the summer. In the winter, they they grow great. They're more of a winter crop. Uh, frost does not damage them. They actually get sweeter and juicier in the winter. Um, they do require quite a bit of water in the summer. You'll see them starting to wilt. Uh, if they wilt for too long, they're dead. Um, they might pop back from the roots, but more than likely not. So with longevity spinach, what I recommend is plant it and always have a, a couple in pots somewhere in the shade just in case something happens so you have backup so you're not going out spending 20 bucks on another longevity spinach plant you'll have clones of yours you know it's a good variety good genetics whatever tastes good you like it and uh you'll be able to keep it going and you could also plant this all throughout your yard um they do like pretty rich soil so uh prepare the soil well underneath maybe dig down about a foot or so uh I have a plant grow guide that I, I wrote up and I will put that also down in the description. It'll be a link to uh, a 360 file uh, PDF and it's free. So let's get started. We're going to take a knife here and we're just going to start cutting these guys. All right, so that's it guys. We got, I don't know how many here, but there's a lot. And if you look, you can see they're actually starting to get flowers on them. So what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna cut some of the leaves off of them. We're probably gonna cut them down in half or maybe thirds. And we're gonna fill up a whole bin with these guys. And like I said, they usually take about a week to two weeks to root out. Um, if you could do them in individual pots, if you're doing it on a smaller scale, you could root it out right in the pot that it's gonna stay in. That way you don't have to worry about uh, digging it out of the, the bin and shocking the plant, possibly killing it, ripping all the roots off. So let's go over to the bin and I'll show you exactly how to do it. All right guys, so we're over here at the bin. I got a pair of scissors and I got my cuttings. These leaves are my favorite, so we're not wasting these. I'm gonna eat like, uh, whatever I trim off or eat. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna cut off all these bigger leaves. You can leave the smaller ones because that's where the new growth is gonna come out. But we're just going to go ahead and we're going to process every single one of these cuttings down, saving the leaves to munch on because they're just fantastic. All right, so we trimmed it down to about there, right? There's a couple of little side shoots coming off. That's okay. Now we're going to do about six inches on the cuttings. So there's one and there's two and three, okay? So basically, with these cuttings, all we're gonna do is stab them down into this substrate in this bin. All right, so we got our three cuttings, right? Now this bin, I used my seed starting mix, which is uh, two parts peat moss, one part perlite, one part vermiculite, and then a bunch of potting soil thrown in. I went super heavy on the potting soil, so it's probably 50-50 uh, seed starting mix with potting soil because the potting soil is gonna allow it to drain a little better. And I'm gonna keep these guys pretty moist because they root out really quick. They love water, but they don't like sitting in mud. And my seed starting mix, if you water it too much, it turns into mud. So basically all we're gonna do with these is we're just gonna stab these guys in, right? Just until 
they're almost to the, the bottom of the bin. Okay? And that's it. That's all you have to do. You stab them in. Be careful if they're uh, a little soft. You don't want to snap them. And that's it. We're going to fill this up, all these rows, and we're probably going to have uh, about 30 or so plants in there. All right, guys, so that's how easy it is. I wound up using a little bamboo stake to make a hole to make them push in easier because they were starting to wilt already and get soft. Um, so basically, I got a whole bin for Alan. I don't know how many are in there, probably somewhere between 30 and 50, I would assume. Um, I did four for myself because I'm kind of running low on stock on them as well. I only have three left for sale, so four more. And then as a bonus, I got this entire salad bin full of the trimming. So those leaves, I could uh, wash those off and munch on those and super high in nutrients, very tasty. My favorite leafy green out there. Uh, I'd highly recommend if you don't have longevity spinach, if you've never heard of it, uh, come pick one up for me or go over to Allen or find them on eBay or offer up whatever. But like I said, always start extras. You always want extras in case something happens to yours because we do live in the desert and they're not a desert plant. And uh, when you plant them, your best bet is going to be to plant them where they get complete shade in summer. Full winter sun is perfectly fine. And like I said, they enjoy uh, rich soil, well-draining soil, uh, heavily mulch them. I have uh, I have mine planted in a hoogle mound, so I got uh, about uh, two feet of arborist wood chips below them. Uh, on top of that, the dirt I removed from the hole uh, was put on top of those wood chips, and then I layered it lasagna style with uh, some good potting soil or outdoor potting mix, um, some composted cow poop, and mix that in really good so it's not layered it's more of a mix and then uh plant my plant and heavily mulched on top there's uh probably somewhere started out about a foot of arborist wood chip mulch i got it from chipdrop.com but these guys back to these cuttings here like i said they are starting to wilt a little bit so we're gonna water these guys in really good they're gonna go on my cutting racks that you could see in the background over there That's where I have my uh, my figs, my mulberries, and my apple tree cuttings and whatnot. Uh, that's full shade. These are gonna stay moist. You gotta monitor them. Make sure you got holes drilled in the bottoms of these bins so the water could drain out. And same thing with the pots. These are just uh, little Amazon pots. They got holes in the bottom. And if you notice excessive wilting, it's probably because they are getting sun and you might not realize it or you're not watering enough or they're too long. So these guys, they were short. They were only uh, maybe four inches long. You don't need them that long because they do grow very, very fast. Um, you could probably root them in water and then transplant them to soil if you wanted to. I don't recommend putting them indoors because there's just not enough airflow. They'll probably start molding out. Um, it's best to do it outdoors in the spring. Uh, I'd avoid summer unless you have a greenhouse. Um, if they do start wilting excessively though, you could actually put a bag over the top, um, leave it loose, maybe punch some holes just so you get some airflow. Cause if this soil is moist, these guys are really soft cuttings. They will just rot out on you and it could happen in a day. So if you leave them outside, full shade, spring in the Valley of the sun, they should root out in about a week and you should have no problems potting them into bigger pots. Um, when you up pot these from a bin like this into their own pots, um, your best bet is gonna be to let the soil dry out a little bit and then tilt the bin on its side over a container or something and just give it a little shake and they'll all start pouring out and then you could slowly untangle the roots and get them into their own pots. But these are very herbaceous, so they will wilt. Um, when you up pot them, you might get a week or two where they will don't do anything. You might get some die back, but uh, the quicker you do it, the better. Make sure they stay moist. They do love moist soil, well draining. They don't like mud. So I hope you liked the video, guys. Um, if you're interested in a longevity spinach, as I've said, uh, you can give me a call. You can give Alan a call. You can look on eBay or whatever, but they're a fantastic plant to grow. 
they will spread throughout your entire yard and if you're looking to feed your family feed yourself stay healthy whatever it's an excellent choice it's not toxic it tastes like uh almost like a baby spinach but crispier the leaves have a little bit of a fuzz on them they got great texture very juicy sweet and they're just awesome so guys please don't forget to like subscribe share hit the bell i think we're uh pushing 250 subscribers already uh tons of views i'm hoping to monetize the channel and and maybe uh do more videos if i could make some money off it do more videos and you know a little bit higher quality content uh maybe some road trips and stuff like that but uh until the next video guys keep growing